This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, I'm Hubley Vilkas. Thank you for joining us. At least seven are dead in flood ravage Louisiana tonight, and Suncoast volunteers are on the scene helping some of the 20,000 in shelters. ABC 7's Ray Collins has more on the local delegation's work. Ray. Haley, the Red Cross says this is the worst for them since Superstorm Sandy four years ago. So local Red Cross is helping at the scene and also from the Sun Coast. Give a dog. Your dog. Give a if a picture speaks a thousand words, video speaks even more. I got your dog. Oh. This is some drone video from high above Baton Rouge. The state has been swamped with rain, floods, and now damage and death. It's going to cost the Red Cross over $10 million. The executive director of the regional Red Cross off Cattleman Road says she dispatched five volunteers Monday afternoon to the disaster zone. Despite the daunting task ahead, she's proud the Sun Coast can play a role. I've been at this for a long time, and every time we send folks out, I feel so proud and so grateful that we have volunteers that are willing to give up two or three weeks of their life to go help other people. Yes, Pauline. One of those volunteers helping other people is Linda Herzog. For the past dozen years, since she first came on board after Hurricane Charlie, Linda has been traveling around helping disaster victims, but not anymore. That's because the Red Cross began experimenting a few months ago with virtual caseworkers who, from their desks, help victims miles away. And it saves the Red Cross money. They don't have to pay for my travel my room and board. Linda admits she misses being at the scene, but she says she can be nearly as effective with disaster victims from her office in Sarasota, talking to people she'll never meet. And a lot of times that's all they want is someone to talk to so that they were not forgotten. Do you ever wish you were actually at the scene to give them a hug? Yes, yes. And with tens of thousands out of their homes and the death toll still rising, you can bet a lot of victims will need hugs in Louisiana. Just like I did from Katrina, start all over again. Of the five local volunteers going to the disaster zone, each has their own job from shelter work to medical care, Haley. And Ray, you said this will cost the Red Cross $10 million. So how does the organization get its funding? It's actually all private funding. So if you want to help, you can call 1-800- Red Cross. The need is great. Yeah. Thank you, Ray. And now we'll head over to Bob. We had plenty of rain ourselves here this evening, Bob. Yes, yeah, some fast moving storms uh, did dump some heavy rainfall. The atmosphere pretty juiced up and uh, right now most of that activity is winding down off into the Gulf of Mexico. Things are looking much better here overnight. Clear skies and we'll look for temperatures uh, be close to seasonal averages. The high today was 96 degrees, which tied a record high temperature for this day. As far as rainfall totals the last 12 hours, you can see some areas offshore Venice over two inches there in the Gulf of Mexico. Northport had about one inch of rain and Lakewood Ranch pretty good downpour there up to about an inch and lesser amounts, but still some pretty heavy rain for a short period of time. The storms were moving at a pretty good clip toward the west, and that's the reason why we didn't get a uh, flooding concern as far as that goes. But it uh, looks like similar conditions are expected to be played out again tomorrow as a result of that east to southeast wind flow. The sea breeze really won't go uh, much inland uh, tomorrow. 79 though right now. The dew point as it's 74. Winds are out of the northeast at 5 and the pressure 3011. That's high and that continues to rise. We'll have more on our weather for the rest of this work week and into the weekend coming up in a few minutes. Haley. Thank you, Bob. A Suncoast woman is sentenced to prison for her role in the smothering death of a six-year-old boy. Ashley Cole was sentenced to 13 years behind bars today, followed by five years of probation in the death of Jimmy Dearman. Prosecutors say Cole and her boyfriend, 31-year-old James Dearman, were playing video games last Christmas Eve when Jimmy and his sister began making what they say was too much noise. Both kids were told to put their nose on the wall, but when Jimmy didn't follow instructions, Cole called him to the couch and put his face into the cushions, and both she and Dearman sat on Jimmy's back while continuing to play video games. At least she had a childhood. Jimmy will never have any childhood. It's over. I don't know how to put in words how remorseful I am. I just want to do better. As part of her probation, Cole will have to undergo mental health and drug evaluations and 16 weeks of anger management. James Dearman was sentenced to last month to 20 years in prison with 10 years probation.
The Florida Highway Patrol tonight says no charges will be filed against the driver who hit a seven year old boy. It happened late this afternoon near Tuttle Avenue and 25th Street in Sarasota. Troopers say the boy was chasing a dog when he ran into traffic and was hit by a truck. He was taken to the hospital with serious injuries, but FHP says those injuries are not life threatening. A vote by the Sarasota City Commissioners tonight to look into limiting events downtown. Commissioners will consider two proposals. One, to prohibit any events requiring more than five blocks be shut down. And another, that instead of a blanket rule, would require such events be examined and approved by the commission. That's according to the Sarasota Herald Tribune. There would be an exemption for parades and half street closures like those used for the half marathon races. These proposed rules will be up for discussion and public hearings this fall. Donald Trump staying on message today when delivering a speech about dealing with terrorism. The Republican nominee proposing ideological tests for immigrants trying to enter the U.S. Meanwhile, Vice President Joe Biden joined Hillary Clinton on the campaign trail. ABC's Kenneth Moten was in Washington with more. Hillary Clinton arms out welcoming that VP help on the campaign trail in Pennsylvania. Clinton and Vice President Joe Biden's Scranton roots were on full display to reach those working class voters. Clinton's father and Biden were born in this blue collar community. The story of the Rodhams and the Bidens isn't unique. What's unique is the country where those stories were written. Clinton and Biden teaming up to take on Donald Trump. He's trying to tell us he cares about the middle class. Give me a break and to repeat myself, it's such a bunch of malarkey. The GOP nominee in Ohio delivered what he called foreign policy realism, a major speech focused on destroying ISIS. But Trump dropped another controversial proposal, an ideological test for immigrants to figure out their stances on issues like religious freedom, gender equality, and gay rights. Those who do not believe in our Constitution or who support bigotry and hatred will not be admitted for immigration into our country. The Republican who received bipartisan criticism for his proposed ban on Muslims outlined his new immigration policy. No visas for those who are coming from terror hotspots and can't be fully vetted. I call it extreme, extreme vetting. Our country has enough problems. We don't need more. As President Trump would almost certainly face legal challenges for targeting a religion, but constitutional lawyers say he could have some leeway in barring people from certain regions. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. Thank you, Kenneth. An early voting for the August 30th primary election, meanwhile, will begin in Sarasota and Manatee counties on Saturday. But in other counties across the state, voters are already casting ballots. Early voting is mandated from August 20th through the 27th, but local supervisors of elections can decide to begin sooner. Nearly 600,000 voters have already returned completed vote-by-mail ballots. Demolition began today at the former Colony Resort on Longboat Key. The colony has been closed for six years and is considered uninhabitable. But Orlando-based developer Unicor plans to turn it into a five-star resort with 360 condos and hotel rooms. The developer is hoping to break ground in two years and open on New Year's Eve of 2020. Longboat Keys, Director of Planning, Building and Zoning, says she's happy to see the property being put to use. It, it's a beautiful property. It's a large property. There's a lot of potential there. And it, it really is sad um, for the whole community to see it just sit there and not be utilized. The current demolition is only for the commercial aspects of the property. Unicor still needs to get signatures from condo owners before moving forward with demolition on the residential units. And straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with the official Suncoast forecast. Plus, a state of emergency just declared in California as thousands have been forced from their homes because of a growing fire. Plus, a huge thank you from some Suncoast residents to local first responders. Hurricane season is here. Are you prepared? ABC7 has the information you need. Access our special Surviving a Hurricane now. Learn how to prepare a readiness plan and survival kit. Know your evacuation route. Be prepared, Suncoast, when severe weather threatens. Access our special on our ABC7 app and all our live streaming platforms. Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one 
you do? At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. U.S. Med has great news for anyone living with diabetes. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, U.S. Med will ship a new glucose meter right to your home. And shipping is free. My new meter uses only a speck of blood, so it's less painful than my previous meter. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, you're covered with U.S. Med. We're welcoming new patients, even if your current provider can't supply you anymore. I don't even have to test on my fingers anymore. I can test on my hand or forearms, and it's more accurate than my old meter. So call US Med today, and you'll have a choice of two great meters. One that actually speaks your results, or a meter so small it fits in the bottle of strips. Act now, and US Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call US Med today. You'll be glad you did. They took that stress and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident, and it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case. We want them up on their feet, happy again. They've gotten their life back. Welcome to the all-new Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Seymour smiles. Seymour selection of quality new and pre-owned vehicles. Seymour for your trade-in. Seymour savings. Step up to GMC and get cash back for up to 12% of the MSRP on these select 2016 GMC vehicles. That's over 9,300 cash back on this Yukon. Seymour now at Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Go to SeymourBuickGMC.com. Bob, we got a couple rounds of storms, right. unfortunately. Well, you know, just some heavy yeah. thunder, lightning, all kinds of stuff. Uh, dangerous lightning, uh, heavy rainfall for a brief period of time. The atmosphere, as we talked about earlier, is really uh, mm -hmm. quite moist at this point. And uh, when it rains, it pours, literally. Yeah, literally. It's tropical <laughs> rain uh, around. And we also had some beautiful shots that we always do when we get a few evening showers and storms around. This is from our tower cam. Uh, we'll take you through time here for the, uh, an hour or so. As you can see, those storms moving quickly off into the Gulf. And uh, then the sun, just a little glimpse of the sun there setting uh, just uh, over 8 o'clock. And I'll tell you what, photos, they have been coming in. I'm not going to be able to get to them all, but you can go to our website at mysuncoast.com and click on the photo section there. This is from Terry showing what appears to be some funnel clouds forming. And we had a couple of those folks sending pictures in, some pretty impressive uh, looks like gust front here with Val getting this as it moves over the Ringling Bridge. And there were some gusty winds at times. Uh, this, a beautiful shot from Siesta Key. The lightning is on the right-hand side as the storm was out there in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's from Siesta. And then finally, as all the storms were winding down, Cindy, who's been taking a lot of shots across the Sun Coast, getting that beauty uh, from Siesta Key. The good news is all the rain over for now. It'll be back tomorrow afternoon and it looks as though we'll see, still see a pretty strong east wind uh, with this high pressure at the surface anyway, east to southeasterly wind. There's an upper level low which is spinning across the Bahamas, but uh, I still think a pretty good chance for those scattered late day showers and a few thunderstorms. And the bulk of that rain will be right near the coast because that sea breeze won't have a chance to get too far inland uh, throughout the uh, late in the mid afternoon. Now, as far as the tropical satellite goes, the tropical moisture that had been around uh, Louisiana causing up to 30 inches of rainfall uh, last week, uh, ending on Sunday, uh, is looking a little bit better tonight. Still some showers there, and it looks as though we're looking at generally fair skies clearing over much of the peninsula here in Florida. That's what we have at the Sarasota Braden Airport at 79 degrees, and the dew point is at 74. We have a northeast wind at 5, and the pressure fairly high, 3011, and that is holding steady. The high today was record breaking, at least tying, record tying, 96 degrees, and that was set and tied back in 1990. Our normal high temperature at 90 degrees, and as far as rainfall goes at the airport, 
We had uh, just under four tenths of an inch of rain at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport, still below average for the month, but some areas well above it, especially inland. 81 degrees in Orlando now, 84 in Miami, and the same in Key West. Temperatures generally in the upper 70s to low 80s, even some mid 80s. Sebring at 84 degrees and Punta Gorda at 80 degrees. Well, this is the front that kind of absorbed that low pressure area, which had been stagnant over Louisiana, producing all that rainfall. And as that uh, continues to move to the southeast, it will dissipate. Elsewhere in the tropics, it looks like we'll have Fiona within a day or two as conditions are becoming more favorable for this to develop. And if it were to develop, more than likely, it would head off to the open waters of the Atlantic. But we'll have to watch it nonetheless as it moves off to the west right now and eventually tracks, we think, into the central Atlantic. At least most of the models are, are pretty consistent with that. There are a couple of strong tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa, however, that have a much better chance of developing, I think, in the next uh, week or, or two. As far as the water vapor imagery goes, some very dry air. There's some upper level low right there spinning. And with that big area of dry air moving toward the Caribbean, it should be beautiful weather on in through the Bahamas and through the Caribbean. So if you have a cruise plan there, things looking pretty good. No tropical threat of any kind uh, expected over the next uh, few days, at least there. Uh, as far as the forecast model goes tomorrow, not as many storms around it appears, but uh, this particular model, there'll be a few up until about 9 o'clock and then more showers and sto uh, storms moving in on Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. For boaters, tomorrow looks pretty good. Seas running less than two feet, a light chop out there. Water temperature still warm, 87 degrees, and the UV index will be high. We'll have generally fair skies throughout much of the day. High tide at 104, and sun sunrise will be at 702. Scattered storms tonight, uh, winding down in the Gulf, and then the rain chance at 60% tomorrow for coastal locations, a little less inland. And then the rain chance staying high on Wednesday, Thursday, Still pretty good a bet for those storms in the afternoon. Temperatures just slightly cooler by then. Haley? Thank you, Bob. 300 acres have been destroyed and thousands forced to evacuate their homes because of the Clayton Fire in Northern California. The governor has issued a state of emergency tonight as firefighters continue to deal with the hot spots and assess the damage. Others spent the day waiting anxiously to find out if their homes are part of the rubble. The blaze slept, swept through the town of Lower Lake on Sunday, forcing people to act quickly. One man used water from his swimming pool to not only protect his home, but also as shelter. Some residents are finding out they were spared. Everything, you can see the devastation on the whole block. And my house is up there standing clean like nothing ever happened. Fire officials say it could take days before they assess all of the damage. As they continue to fight the Clayton Fire, they're also battling another fire, the Chimney Fire in San Luis Obispo, which is now over 4,000 acres. 15 detainees were transferred out of Guantanamo Bay today. The Obama administration says that is the single largest transfer since President Obama took office. The inmates will be transferred to the United Arab Emirates. The current prison population at the detention facility is down to 61. There were 242 detainees when President Obama took office. And back here on the Sun Coast, the next phase of a beach renourishment project on Longboat Key will be getting underway shortly. Crews will be repairing the beaches off Longboat Key near New Pass and Longboat Pass. About 200,000 cubic yards of sand will be dredged from New Pass to fix nearly a mile of the beaches at the southern tip for the next month. Then dredging of 220,000 cubic yards will begin next month at Longboat Pass to repair more than a half mile of beaches at the northern tip. We have lost over 100 feet of beach. Not only the width of the beach, but the height of the beach. And that is what provides storm protection. So it's imperative that we restore its beaches. The first phase of the project, where dump trucks brought in sand, finished two months ahead of schedule. The entire project should be finished by mid-October. Another show of support from the community to local first responders. The Northport Fire Department received a surprise gift of 7,000 bottles of water and a few hundred bottles of Gatorade today. The effort was started by a Northport resident who spread the word on social media. I was shocked. I was amazed at all the people that were donating water. It was the, the support was just amazing. People support our emergency services, our police and fire, our public works and utilities people. And, and it shows when they just do this spontaneously. And uh, we had no contact. We had no idea that this was going to happen today. 
Residents did the same thing for the, the police department just a few weeks ago. They plan next on doing a food drive for a local pantry. What a great community. Dozens showed up at Moat Marine Lab in Sarasota tonight for a free screening of the Steven Spielberg classic Jaws. The 1975 film won three Oscars, and Dr. Robert Huter says that Moat is using this film as a teaching tool of sorts. There's no question that the movie Jaws made sharks, you know, big box office, and made it a charismatic group of species that, that a lot of us now study and, and are trying to protect. So we're, we're in the business of trying to separate out the fiction from the, the fact and explain to people, the, you know, the benefits that sharks really do give us. Dr. Huter says actually this movie was a big inspiration for his career. This special showing is part of Moat's Shark Week events. And you get to be near the sharks while you're watching Jaws. Pretty cool. Sports is next. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts. On Suncoast View, we celebrate National Rum Day with award-winning Siesta Key Rum, plus Money Matters and Spice and Tea Exchange in the kitchen. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. Temperatures on the Sun Coast are rising and the deals are hotter than ever during the summer clearance event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. You'll feel cooler than ever when you drive away in a new Jeep Cherokee for as little as $19,999 or take home a stylish new Jeep Renegade for just $17,999. How about a new 2016 Jeep Patriot for just $14,999? Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Welcome back, two of my favorite guests, Cash 3 and Play 4. Surprise! We're Pick 3 and Pick 4 now! Whoa! But we still play exactly the same. We just got a fresh new look. Speaking of surprises, I have one for you. Say hello to Pick 2 and Pick 5! <laughs> Introducing the complete Pick family of games! Yeah. We're family now! The new Pick 2 and Pick 5 have joined Pick 3 and Pick 4 to give you more choices in your daily gameplay. The Florida oh. Lottery. Just imagine. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. If you or a loved one suffered serious complications, call IVC Filter Helpline now. You may be entitled to compensation. IVC filters are designed to prevent blood clots. If your IVC filter moved or broke and you suffered heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or if a loved one died as a result, call IVC Filter Helpline today. Our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call today for a free confidential consultation. Don't fight this alone. Call IVC Filter Helpline now. Please call 800-897-6764. That is 800-897-6764. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. It's Lincoln Summer Sales Event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKZ for only $299 per month or a 2016 Lincoln MKX, Lincoln's premium sports utility vehicle for $339 per month. We also have a great selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. Drive with the confidence of a six-year, 100,000-mile comprehensive warranty and complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, family owned and operated and winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. Now, sports. The Rays hosting the San Diego Padres tonight and welcoming back their former Rookie of the Year, Will Myers, who is in the middle of an all-star campaign. Myers did have a hit tonight, but it was Alexi Ramirez who got the Padres on the board first with a solo home run in the first inning off of Drew Smiley. The Rays responded with a run in the bottom half of the inning, then in the second. Logan Forsythe sends a towering two-run blast to center. Tampa Bay takes a 3-1 to one lead. It was 5-1 to one in the eighth when Kevin Kiermeyer put the game out of reach. He drills a three-run homer into the seats in right center. 
The Rays win this one 8-2. Smiley allowed just one run on one hit through seven innings. Never mind all that talk about Alex Rodriguez joining the Miami Marlins. The spokesman for the three-time MVP says A-Rod won't be playing for another team this season. The statement was released after the Marlins acknowledged over the weekend that they were considering reaching out to Rodriguez, something which they said today they ultimately decided against. The 41-year-old was released by the Yankees on Saturday, leaving A-Rod free to sign with any team. The spokesman reiterated that Rodriguez wants to spend some time relaxing and be with his family. The Bucks shoring up their offensive line today by giving DeMar Dotson a contract extension. The 30-year-old has started 52 games for Tampa Bay over his career, including all but one game from 2012 to 2014. He was injured for the first half of last season, which cost him the starting offensive tackle job. The extension is worth $16.5 million over three years, according to ESPN's Adam Schefter. I'm determined, man. And even though I got it, it's, it's, it's no bagging up. It, it, it makes me want to go harder because I feel that, you know, if a team wouldn't invest in you and give you, you know, and, 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 and show you some, I call it love, then, then it's my job to go out there and give it back to them. We sure hope he does. That's a look at sports. We'll have tonight's winning lotto numbers straight ahead. The all new MySuncoast.com. Just another way we're here for you. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota flooring. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. Just because someone grows older, does that mean they have to grow apart from their friends or from the things they love to do? With Right at Home, it doesn't. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to help with personal care, housekeeping, meals, and most of all, staying engaged in life. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you ready to go? Oh, I sure am. We can provide the right care right at home. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT Wingard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT Wingard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. It's 
it's the unlikeliest of friendships, and it may just have saved one dog's life. George lost his best friend, Blackie the Lab, two years ago this week. And since then, he's been very depressed. His owner says he wouldn't eat. He suffered various skin infections from chewing on himself because he's so anxious. Well, recently, she noticed a stranger on her back porch, a duck who has not left George's side. George lets the duck sleep on his bed. He even allows the duck to rest its bill <laughs> on his leg. Look, the duck's taking over the bed. Look, they're <laughs> napping. How cute. Since the duck has showed up, he's been fine. He's not wanted in the house. He's not whined. He's not meeting you at the car, you know, looking sad. There has been some adjusting going on in the home. They are dealing with duck droppings, and they're going to have to upgrade <laughs> the bird bath to a bigger tub so the duck can, you know, get clean and everything. But Jackie is just finally glad that George is happy once again. Wow, that's great. You know, sometimes it's the opposite. The dogs really cheer everyone up, and this one yeah. the duck did it for the dog. The there. duck cheered yeah. the dog up. Who knew? Mm -hmm. A duck therapy. <laughs> duck. Right. Have a great night.